Uh, dispatch 100, we got a 1038 going westbound on Route 68. Oh my god, dude. Oh my oh shit. Oh, f Damn. Oh. Alicia, they ain't pulling over just lame as Andy's. Is that that fat motherfucker in there? Hold on, was that cool? Yeah, was that cool? Was it? Two cops, though. Man, I can't believe you fed oh. IDing them. Like, that's f***ed up. <laughs> yeah, on, I, got a, I got a boss. sniper rifle. I'm gonna see if it's him. Hold on. Uh, oh yeah, it is him. He's right at the car. How many cops are there, okay? It's all two cars, no? Can I see your ID, please, sir? Yeah, yes, you can. Mr. Zale Adair. You know uh, why I pulled you over here today? I'm assuming it's our collision after I, you know, try to overtake a local. Mm, okay. No, it's only one. Should we hold him up? Yeah, yeah. I mean, no. to Sandy? If you just want to fucking drop his ass. Everyone yell, hands up. If he, does, if he moves, yeah, yeah, just yeah. beat him. Hands the Put fuck your fucking hands up. up! Put your fucking hands up. Drop, drop your gun and radio now. Robbie. Let's go, get the fuck in the car, come on. who are you with, man? Let's go, Shamu, get in the fucking car. Okay, hold on, I gotta drop the shit. Give me a second. Hey, none of you motherfuckers are calling the cops, right? No. All right, now get I'm in. Now get in the car, cops, okay? get in the car, get, get in the, the car. Let's go, let's go. Get in the car, you jump the rest out the window, get in. Let's get in there, let's get in there, get in the car. Ain't no fucking funny business, I'll fucking shove this fresh up your Hold the knife to his fucking back. Throw your phone out the window, throw your radio out the window. Throw it all out the window. Keep it going, just keep tossing. Keep talking. Okay, Put your fucking pockets. hands down. Put your hands down now, too. Okay, well, shit. Like, give me give me a second now. I gotta throw my, you know. Throw your inhaler out. It, big boy. Okay, I didn't bring my inhaler, okay? All right. What else do you want me to throw out? You got snacks? Throw them out. Oh. Oh, that's, come on, guys. That's a big ass. Right, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. You can keep your snacks, all right? Okay. Do some stress eating. It's gonna relax you. All right, don't panic. Put your hands down. You can put your hands down now if you throw away everything. Mm. No funny business, though. I got this wrench ready, okay? I'll fucking open you up like the goddamn Mario Brothers. All right, here's what's gonna happen, bucko. We're gonna go in here, and you're gonna write with the pen, and you're gonna sign okay. out on the fucking sign-out sheet. Okay. All right? Yeah, that's fine. And that shit better have fucking ink in it. Fast. Let's go, big boy. Okay. Keep him held up, boys. God damn, I feel the fucking earth shaking here. Right there to the right. You see that pen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one right here. Sign on out. Okay. You make sure you throw away your phone, right? You threw away your phone, Back right? Back in the car. Come on, Fatty. Get in there, tons of fun. Okay. I, like, hey, I like that one, tons of fun. I like that. Yeah. You threw away your phone, right? Yeah, I did. I have, I have a second one that's broken. But you Toss it out the window. Toss it out. Just in case. Now, I don't want to hurt you. Well, that's actually... Okay, that's neither here nor there. But someone else wants to hurt you. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Someone Wait, that? real scary. Wait, what the hell? Uh -huh. Okay. Wait, who's trying to kill? Wait, kill me I or just hurt gotta me? Make a phone call. Stay in the car. Okay. No funny business. I got this wrench ready to go at any point in time. Don't you fucking move, fatty. Give him a burger. He likes burger. Hello. I have your package. Do you? No, it's all right. You stay Off duty and all. All right. Shall I meet you at the spot? Yeah, I think that would work for me. You're scaring me, Tessa. Sorry, Sorry I'm just there. excited. I'll meet you there. He was uh, kicking a uh, one of those like coyotes up here on the found them. Really? He was at his traffic stop and he was kicking it. It was squealing out um, for help. But... All uh, right. I'll meet you at the spot. Okay, I'll be there. Oh, oh your taser, your baton, everything out the window, okay? I don't want no weapons on you. Hello? Hey, hey, it's uh, Flops with BBMC. Just letting you know, we're the whole PD just stormed our red car. Are they looking for you guys? Oh my God, okay, okay. We got bones on us, Slacks is there, they brought the cavalry. Let me go, let me yeah, go. Hey, don't, don't right. pick that up, by the way. No, no, yeah. we're not picking that shit up. Hold on, they're looking for a red car, so we gotta make sure we change cars. Take him out and, uh, hold on. I'm gonna hold them up, uh, like hidden in the, the barns over here. Yeah, There's yeah, a little yeah. hole straight somewhere. of us. Okay. That crazy? The guys you were writing a ticket for, they fucking snitched on us. All right, get out. Take Come him on. in there and get inside there. Whoa. Get inside there right now before I bash the brains in. Okay. Let's go to the right where the one's open. Okay. Right, get uh, get uh, get against the wall over there. Right, right in take front a seat. Of you. Go ahead. Take a little seat now, all right? Oh yeah, you can see. So you must the call where you met a lot of enemies. You know what I mean? Someone very dangerous once you're dead. I know. I've heard. And I tell you, mighty dangerous. Yeah. No, I've you heard. I've one. heard. Yeah, I believe uh, his name starts with a T. T? Yeah, his name is uh, Twishat. Terry Cruz. 
Oh, Terry, oh I love Terry Crews. Now. Yeah, I like Terry Crews too. Yeah, no, he's yeah. good. I like Terry Crews. Oh, so how was your day going before you got yourself abducted here? Uh, it's been pretty dog ass for about a week. Really? Why is that? What's going on? Yeah. Talk to us. This is like a therapy session now. You, you're telling me that uh, the criminals are pitting you against the wall and locking you in and breaking your cars and breaking your legs while they're pitting you? Us? Well, so no, it's just, it just seems like every single damn thing you do, it's like, good lord. You well, know? What you mean? They hold you like back? A, like a microscope over your ass. Oh my lord, where do I begin? Well, it's it's just one of them things where it's like, you know, you're just trying to do your damn job and, you know, you're just doing things the way, you, you know, you're supposed to do it and, you know, they want you to be serious and they want you to, you know, and then you start being serious. But, you know, I still kind of, you know, I keep it real. You know, I'll be honest with you. You know, but but there's a line. I, I do my best to stick to that line, but then it's like every single damn thing you do. If somebody thinks that you're you're up to no good, somebody thinks you ain't doing your job, and every single where you look, every everywhere, you know, you, you hear whispers, every single damn place. And it's just, it's everything else that comes with the job, you know? Yo, what's up, Kay? We just kidnapped Cormor, so I need you to be like on standby in case. It's just me, Chris, and Zola. Okay, I'll, uh, okay. I right, got where him, you, he's off-duty. I'm taking him to uh, the resort to hand to Tessa. Someone already snitched, though. They were looking for me in a red car, and of course, this car is fucking red. Oh, classic. All right, I'll, uh, all right, I'll head over to the resort. All right. All right, peace. Oh, my God. I wonder how Tessa's going to play this. Right, I'm in the truck. Load him up. But this right, shit... Cool. Well, we got... We, we talking a car. We got to keep it moving. Come on. Yeah. I appreciate what you're saying, though. You make a lot of sense. Yeah, because I'm... Yeah. Look, Look, obviously, I would love to put every single damn criminal in jail, right, forever, you know, obviously, but I've learned a lot since, you know, I've spent my time lawyering, so I just want to make sure that, you know, people are treated justly and fairly. You know that scumbag criminal, uh, Mr. K, that robbed us the other day? Yeah, I heard he, about he, that story, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he's upset because he didn't get to show him all the charges, and he thinks the, 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 the other officers is giving him a hard time since that situation happened. But I said, fuck that motherfucker, you know what I mean? He took all my money. Well, but, Yeah, but, I heard about that, yeah. Man, well, no, it's, really it's, it's not even just that, right? It's not it's not other officers, right? It's it's it, it, it's just been it's just been a pain in the ass. Like, last week has been miserable for me. It really has, because I'm just so damn tired. I mean, hell, I almost clocked off duty a couple hours ago. I was just, maybe I need a vacation. It's, it's, oh my lord, I'm so tired. So we had some shit. I don't know if y'all paid attention to that court case. There's a court case. Mr. K has a gun on him after a shooting. After so, a shooting or after he was shot? No, there, okay, so listen, there's a shooting that occurs, right? Yeah. Officers respond, I ain't there. This is the first day that I'm off duty. Officers respond, there's people at the situation. Somebody claims that Mr. K had a gun. Guy gets GSR tested, negative, okay? Not only that, this son of a bitch gets shot. He is downed, okay, in the car. Can you believe was that? He GS was he GSR positive? GSR positive. negative, and he's shot <gasps> in the car. God damn. Right? I mean, surely the other people got investigated, right? Well, here's the thing. The other folks left, and, and there's nobody on scene that's GSR positive, but you know somebody shot, you know somebody branched Wait, I, a gun. I think I heard about this case. Yeah, the cops let the other people leave. <gasps> well, see, that, that's the thing. Oh my God. That, oh my God. That, is a, that is a major mistake. And and now people know that, and I think people understand that at this point, but shit, if I was there, see, you can propose that. So this is the difference mm -hmm. between proposing the charge. The law. I agree on that point. You would have laid down the motherfucking law. No, 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 hey. listen, listen. Oh no, okay, no. You need to propose the charges, right? I like mm. Mr. K. You know, we work together. How much did you like him? Hmm? Yeah, I mean, hell, I, I invested in a house with him. But then, poor mm. guy, now he's upset, and I think he's he's all you know he's all mad at me, and you know, well, you know, I, I heard he's more mad at, like the council and stuff, cause like you know he can't even do any business, right? You know, yeah. it all got shut down when the council passed those laws, right? So wait, what laws? Well, you know, you can't get a business license if you're a felon, this, that, and the third. And then they, you know, from what I see with the counselors, they're not helping facilitate businesses. They're just shutting them down. They're not helping facilitate much of anything. They're just shutting shit down. Well, well here's see. the thing. So Mr. K had this idea of like Section K Realty. Mm. I, hell, I want to invest in this shit because- Oh, I heard about that. That's the scammer shit, right? Slow wait, they shit. were scamming? Yeah. Oh shit, no way. Hop up top here. Hey, I might have to help him up. Hey, come on, hey, come on, Give big boy. Boost. Come on, you got this, tons oh, of fuck. There, there we go. There we go. Oh my god, I think I pulled something. So, Over here. Jesus yeah. Christ, my ass cheeks. I don't know. I, I'm just saying, just this whole last week has been miserable for me. It's like every single damn, every every whisper around the corner. Every, it's just every single damn. I, I can't even fart without somebody criticizing. It, it makes me want to blow my damn brains out. Mm, that's how this town is. Kinda. Yeah.
pretty sure if you fought, you fucking kill everybody in the room. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you would. But. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. And people don't realize that. So I'm like, shit, is, if that's what they want, then do I gotta give them that? Like, holy hell. What you thinking? Oh, Killing my lord. This, is right, this place is beautiful, by the way. We came up here for a wedding reception. Oh, so yeah. Crazy. How'd that reception go? It was, uh, it was good. It was good. You know, I went and I helped them with uh, getting these uh, boats. Not like these, but there's some other, there was some other ski boats that we end, ended up renting out for them and whatnot. And invited a bunch of people Ooh, here yeah. to have food. And... I heard about that dolphin you got. That was so cool. Oh, yeah, that dolphin was a rescue. Did it die? Um, no. I, well, I don't know. I think it was just sleeping. That's what the doctor said. Just sleeping, huh? Yeah. Oh, wait, is somebody here? What's this? Who's this? You better yeah, find it's... out who this is. Hello? Hello, Cornlord. I don't have any intentions on robbing you. Okay. You know why you're here, Cornwood? Oh, uh, why's that? I'm angry. Give him some space. Wait, why? Wait, what'd I do? I'm yeah. angry because I held myself back for years, letting people like you run amok. What? While I stayed tied down <laughs> by my own personal accountability. I never had anyone guiding me on the nuances of right and wrong, because for me, those things are innate. I didn't need anybody to point them out to me because I know right from wrong. Unfortunately, Cornwood, it seems that you don't seem to have the sense to figure out on your own what is right and what is wrong. What? How? What the hell? Wrong? What the hell did I do to not show right and wrong? I'll spell it out for you, Cornwood. Did you know that dolphins are still a protected species? Uh, there's no maritime laws. I checked the legislation. Okay. I'll explain if you're confused. There was a time when Game Warden Tessa Lamb would have taken you to court and possibly wow. even taken your job for what I observed at the mayor's wedding. But that girl, Game Warden Tessa Lamb, she died the same day Sam Bass did. Oh, I love Bass. What do you mean? I'm really, really sick of standing behind red tape, Cornwood. Oh, hell, you and me both. I brought you here for two reasons. Neither of them is that you are a cop. I couldn't care any less about who you are, what you do, why you do it. Well, hell, the I mean, first I'm... first reason... Okay. ...is justice for Finney, as you called him, and any others. Is it making sense oh. to you now? Do you even remember Finney? Yeah, he was a rescue. He was washed up ashore years ago. So it's lying, then? No, that's... No, that's... That's true. And... And who... Who gave you permission to throw him in a pool? Well, I mean, I didn't get permission. Oh. Can they hear me? Okay, so... The park rangers didn't give you permission to throw him into a pool. Oh, uh, no. I mean, I, I was going to put him in water, so he, you know, he's not out of water the whole time. So what was the decision between the pool and the ocean here? Uh, it was, well, it was a wedding gift for the mayor. And uh, the mayor, mayoress, yeah. mayoress, the first lady. So that was to be his life, just living in a pool? Well, I'm pretty sure he was just sleeping. A pool they didn't even own? Well, no, he was just going to show up. He was just want, I mean, he just came to the party and... I don't know what they did with him after. There's cops. Mm -hmm. There's cops. Oh, uh, hey, y'all should leave. All right. Unfortunately, Cornwood, we're not going to have time to finish our conversation. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we will. What? No. Goodbye. That's a